What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for all signs, capsule, sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Free general collective reading. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. We're at... 13,480 subscribers, so thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel, 13,480. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5, the link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo, it's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. I do not publicly display your name if you choose to donate. Um, love and appreciate each and every one of you guys from the bottom of my heart chakra. Um... I was about to go to bed. It's like 2.15 a.m. on 7.16 of 2022, but I decided to do this channeling because I got it. So I'm going to put it out. I hope everybody's doing well. By the way, a little update. Um, 2,000 more business cards are out across my city. So I'm very excited about that. I got 4,000. I put 2,000 out. So I've got 2,000 more to go. So just saying, just saying. All right. So, um... The channel message I received, these are psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages, so one may apply, one message may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your specific story and situation, not anybody else. You have to plug them in how they resonate, if they do apply. If this uh, reading and message or messages don't apply for you, it might be somebody you're connected to. Um, only you know your story and not anybody else. You have to plug it in how it resonates, okay? Love you guys. Okay. So the channel message I received was um, someone's black magic is about to backfire in the form of their body um, cosmetically. Um, I heard for one person their uh, breast implant is about to bust. Burst. I actually heard burst. Um, it's about to burst. Um, and for one person um, their um, fem energies. I heard fem energies. And for one fem energy their um, butt implant is about to get so infected it's about to have to come out um, so you plug it in how it resonates that's what I heard so far um, I don't know I've never had any kind of implants ever um, I've never had any kind of cosmetic procedures ever done on my body ever not Botox, not breast implants, not butt implants, not liposuction. I've never had any kind of cosmetic procedure on my body. So I'm not familiar with that. Um, but whoever these people are, it's at least two fem energies in the universe. They have, uh, they've utilized black magic in the past. I'll tell you that. And they're both feminine energies with uh, vaginal parts. Um they might have a penile part as well, but they definitely have a JJ. Um, not trying to be crass, just being for real. Um, and um, one one fem energy I heard, uh, they were black magic wielders in the past. So anybody that's not familiar with black magic, it is real. It is real. But people use it to manifest things very quickly, like looks or money or love or wealth or career or what have you, what have you. That's why people utilize black magic. But black magic always backfires. It always backfires, either a little bit or a lot. And that's just the truth. In this case, it's going to be a lot. I, I take this as a lot. I heard, and black magic can either backfire on themselves or on somebody they care about or connected to. In this case, these same energies, the black magic's about to backfire on energetically boomerang back in the universe on the form of themselves. I either breast implants about to burst um, or their butt implants about to get so infected, it's about to have to come out. I mean, that is cray, 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 cray. Like I said, I've never had any cosmetic, cosmetic procedures done on my body, so I'm not familiar with any of that, but I could only imagine, um, if the breast implant burst, oh my gosh, I mean, I've never had any breast implants, but my God, that's, I would assume They'd have to have another surgical procedure to get another one in, implanted, I would assume. But I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor. I'm only a nurse. So I don't know. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. That's pretty cray-cray. Um, whoever these two fem energies are, I'll see if I hear anything else. 
Apparently, this was important to put out in the universe at 2.15 a.m. on 7.16 of 2022. One of these people is pregnant. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. One of these people is pregnant. Well, dear Lord have mercy. And one of these people is pregnant. Okay, so one's pregnant. Um, and their, their breast implant is going to burst or their butt implant is going to become so infected it's going to have to come out. So I, I don't know. I I don't know how um, if they're going to be able to have another surgery with pregnancy. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor. I don't know. But I, I just heard from the spiritual universe, one of them is pregnant. So I'm assuming that's going to complicate things. Maybe. I don't know. I've never worked in the plastic surgery realm. I don't know. Oh, my Lord. We have wisdom, release, reverse. Number 22 or 27 could be very significant numbers in one's life. Number 22 or 27, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. 22 or 27. Wisdom. And one of these people is going to find the Book of Shadows burned. Pages from it. They're going to realize this person was manifesting black magic all along. They were really trying to hide it. Oh my God. You plug it in how it resonates. Okay, so I feel we have at least two thin energies in here. At least two, maybe three. One of them's pregnant, I'll tell you that. Whether it's the breast implant person or the butt implant person, somebody's pregnant up in this mix. So at least two or three thin energies. I feel you guys know these thin energies or you're connected to them in some shape, form, or fashion or were connected to them. However that resonates, it replies. But however that resonates, one of them has burned a book, the Book of Shadows. So the Book of Shadows is... For anybody who doesn't know, it's a it's black magic. It's a black magic book. Um, I learned about it in a channeling, in a reading. I had to Google it. Um, but it is a black magic book. For anybody who doesn't know. Um, for real, for real. Um, and, I mean, like, you can Google it and all that. So, because um, I had to Google it. Because I heard Book of Shadows and I was like, what the crap is this? Um, just saying, just saying. But one of them, they, they don't want to admit that they have um, used the uh, black magic, i.e. the Book of Shadows. Um, but somebody connected to them, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to, is about to learn the wisdom that they have. Because I heard they're about to find burned pages. Burned pages of the Book of Shadows. So they have already burned the Book of Shadows to try to hide the evidence. But somebody connected to them, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to, is about to find it. And you're about to learn the wisdom that they really did use black magic all along. I think they lied to you. Maybe you called them out and asked them, and they lied to you. That's what I'm feeling. Um, that's what I'm feeling. You plug it in, how it resonates. And for one, their secret dark arts altar will be exposed to someone they don't want it to be exposed to. For one, it's in their closet. For one, it's in a large chest. For one, it will be exposed to a child. Oh my God, that's terrible. Oh my God. Okay, and oh, for another one of these people, somebody has a dark arts altar. And um, I heard, it sounds like it's still intact, but they have it hidden. Um, one of these people, the dark arts altar, I heard is in their closet. And for one, it's in a large chest, a large, like a large chest. Um, and I heard for one of, uh, one of these situations, whether it's the closet dark altar, dark arts altar, or the ch a large chest dark arts altar, 
um, hidden Dark Arts altar because it's a black Dark Arts altar is a black magic altar for anybody who doesn't know. Um, it's not like you know I'm very light side light side spiritualist. I've got my tarot cards over here, my crystals, um, my sage. I mean nothing hidden over here because it's nothing dark arts but these people want to strategically hide it because it is it is dark arts so that's why it's either in their closet or in a large chest um but how that resonates um i heard of one of these situations a child's going to find it and the energy is going to backfire negatively upon this child know this bad decision and the energy is going to backfire negatively upon this child. Bad decision. Oh, my Lord. That's terrible. That's terrible. So, I don't know if the child's going to. I don't know how old the child is. I did not hear that. But this is upcoming in the universe. Um, upcoming. So, the child hasn't found the dark arts altar in the closet yet. Or the large chest. Um, how that resonates for these situations. Um, what it, whoever's child, whether it's the breast augmentation burster person or the um, butt implant that's gotten so infected or will be so infected, it's going to have to be removed. Somebody's child is about to find a dark arts altar, either in a closet or in a uh, large chest, hidden, secret, because it's dark arts. Don't want anybody to know they practice dark arts, especially their child, I'm presuming, or somebody else's child. Um, but how that resonates, I heard that a child is about to get hold of either the one in the closet or the one in the uh, large chest. And I heard, um, it's going, the energy is going to negatively boomerang back on the child. Um, it is about to go very badly for this child. It is about to go very, that's terrible. I heard it's about to go very badly for this child. So, dear God. So, I, I wonder if this child's old enough to, like, um read i think they might be old enough to read possibly and um maybe they get into this stuff maybe they start getting into it or maybe there's a voodoo doll in there and they start poking the pins or something i mean i don't know what kind of dark arts this is voodoo voodoo um what have you what have you i don't know but um Somehow a child's about to get a hold of the dark arts altar and it's going to energy's gonna negatively boomerang back upon them, meaning it's going to um affect them in a negative way. Um so I'm thinking that might be mental health, medical health, or maybe uh or something of that nature. Um I I think they might be old enough to like get it like read something in there if it's hoodoo voodoo spells. Which, which doctor spells, what have you, what have you, I, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't hear specifically the items that's entailed in this dark arts altar. Release reversed. Um, I, I think this is the energy about to negatively boomerang back upon the child because um, they're about to get into some dark entities here with this dark arts altar. Um, and I think it's going to attract them. And... Um, it's going, oh my God, this is terrible. Let me see if I hear anything else. This is terrible. And wisdom of um, the parent or the person connected to this dark arts altar, I think they're about to start seeing changes in the child. Um, huge changes coming for the child. Huge. And quickly. Huge changes coming for the child. And quickly, I heard they're going to ever regret it. Um, and I'm sure this is terrible, terrible. That, um, you know, like when I was in school, school age, um, fifth grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade, something like that, you know, the whole don't do drugs with a dare officer that came into my public school because I went to public school. Don't do drugs. Don't do black magic. I feel we all need bumper stickers for that. Hashtag don't do black magic. This is a huge reason why. I mean, somebody's child is, I think, about to start getting attracted to this dark arts altar and i think they might be old enough to start reading the spells or um not knowing what the hell they're about to get into maybe they get a, uh, a dark entity attached to them or something i mean i didn't hear that but that's my that's what my feelings here my god
This person is going to ever regret having the dark thoughts altar. It's about to such negatively affect this child and their relationship in a huge way. Oh my God. This person is about to ever regret having this dark arts altar. It's about to affect this child and the child and this person's relationship in a huge way. Um, I heard the child, there's going to be huge significant behavior changes in this child. So, and apparently significant behavior changes in the child and the adult that has the dark arts altar. Um, I think this child's about to get a dark entity attached to them. I didn't specifically hear that in here, but that's my feeling. Attraction to the dark forces here. Um, release. They're not, the dark forces are not going to release this child because children's energy, innocence of a child is very attractive to dark energy to dark forces and that's just the truth it is about to become a very dangerous situation very quickly for this family oh my god it's about to become a very dangerous situation very quickly for this family feminine energy child Fem energy child. I heard it's a fem energy child. So it's a fem energy child about to find this dark arts altar. Confirmation for my fat boy. Come on, baby. It's a fem energy child about to find this dark arts altar either in a closet or a large chest. Um, and it's about to become a very dangerous situation for this family. So I think she's about to um, she's about to attract the dark forces. And um. They're about to not release her. I don't know if you can see it. They're about not to release her. Um, I think she's about to summon something up on her that she doesn't realize she's about to do. I think she's about to do something she doesn't realize she's going to do. That's going to, I mean, this is terrible. She's about to do something she doesn't realize is so negative. Is what I'm feeling here. And it's about to basically. Um, destroy a family. Um, and it's about to affect. Um, an adult in this situation. And the child. And probably other people in this family dynamic. Um, people are about to get a wake up call in this family. And the wisdom that this child has. The behavior changes in this child. And. There probably will be physical changes with this child, I'm presuming. Um, I'm not sure. This is terrible. I heard it's a fem energy child. I didn't hear how old the child is. You plug it in how it resonates. We started with, uh, my gosh, we're 18 minutes in. We started with uh, adults, uh, cosmetic procedures about to backfire. Now we're on children finding... Uh, Secret dark arts altars. So I don't know. The energy is going to latch onto this child quickly. It's about to go very downhill for this family dynamic in huge ways. The energy is about to latch on to this child and um, quickly, and it's about to um, go downhill for this family dynamic in huge ways. So, yeah, I think the release reverse is that um, there's she's about to summon a, a dark arts entity on her that um, I don't think she's going to realize she's going to do it, is what I'm feeling. I didn't hear that specifically, but my deductive logic and reasoning is what I'm is um, what I'm gathering from this. She's about to attract the dark forces. They're about to latch onto her ass, not let her go. Because innocence of a child really, 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 really attracts dark entities. Uh, pure energy attack, uh, attracts dark entities. And that's just the truth. I.e., I, this is child, like a child child. Um, not a, like a 50-year-old that acts like a 12-year-old. Like a real child. I'm feeling minor energy. This is terrible. All right, I'm getting out of this. I'm getting out of this. Let me see if I hear anything else.
Okay, I didn't. I'm getting out of this. All right, I love you guys. I hope this helped. If you think anyone else would like my channel, uh, please feel free to share it very publicly on social media and word of mouth. I love you guys so much, and namaste.